See the comments, but um, hmm. Hey, angels, if you could see me, say hi so I know. Sorry. Hey Michelle, hey ladies, I'm trying to get you guys here so I can see the comments. I swear, I don't get along with computers. Who's online? Let me see who's online. I'm trying to put the computer somehow so I don't put a boxy on my computer. I'm gonna wait till some of you guys get on. So. Thank you, Michelle. Hey, Whitney. Hey, Mama. Hey, Charlie. Hola, baby. I'm fighting with this stupid thing. I can't even cut it. Who else is on, guys? I'm gonna wait till we get a couple of angels online, so. There you go, finally got it. I haven't seen you in a while, uh, Chelly. I hope everything is good with you. I know, I was just saying that. You see, you see? I miss you too. I know when my angels are not around for a while. Guys, I gotta tell you, I haven't been around either much. I've been uh, kind of busy with personal stuff. But hopefully I could get back to things because I miss my group. I mean, I know what's going on because I'm always around, but you know, I haven't been able to do a lot of lives. What's everybody up to? I'm glad I was able to go live today and hang out with you guys. Yeah, Marco, there I go, calling my son again. Do we have any new people here? Any new member? Yeah, well, I wasn't busy because of work. Just uh, family issues. Huh? Thank you, Michelle. I just, it's just recently out of the shower. Can I have paper, Bobby? Like hey, paper? Misty. Yes, copy paper, puppy. Okay. I can't wait till it grows. I, I miss my long hair. I look fatter with a short hair. <laughs> I am fat, but 
Hey Patricia, I'm actually working on your cup. I I've been a disaster with your cup, so I like I restarted it three times already. Um, but I'm working on it. I haven't forgotten about you. I, I'm just very, being very slow making cups because um, um, two is fine. Oh yeah, I gained a lot of weight. <laughs> I did. I started walking for for like two, three weeks, and then I stopped one day, and then I haven't gone back. Thank you, baby. But I have to go back. I'm gonna start on Monday. It's growing because I just died, and now you can see my roots again. I don't know why it grows, like it grows, but I don't see it. <laughs> Michelle is saying hello, Gianmarco. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Any more angels around? You posted in the group, right? That I'm live? We need the angels to be active. Come on. We have so many people in the group and I don't see a lot of action. Okay, I want to um, talk about something before I start. And, you know, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to repeat myself again. But I guess I'm going to have to. Anyway, we only have a couple of people here. Um, but... Um, I've been having a, a lot of headaches and I read, I was uh, searching for an epoxy that doesn't have a lot of um, BOCS, I think it's called like that. And I found this epoxy, it's called Naked Fusion. Guys, it is um, FDA appliance, um, not appliance, <laughs> compliance. It's F uh, FDA compliant and it doesn't have, it hardly has any odor. So I recommend you guys to try it and see if you like it. I don't get a lot of bubbles with it either. Um, I really like it. I, I used it in three cups already and so far so good. Um, I haven't had a problem with it. Um, I've been using since I started like two years ago. I've been using Promarine, and I love Promarine. I love the results, you know, but I suffer from migraines. So I'm, you know, I was trying to, um, I was trying to get something to see if it works for me. I tried the um, KS resin. I get so many bubbles with that. You know, I've been using it for molds. Um, this one is crystal clear. It's self-leveling, zero BOC. UV resistance is it easy one to one ratio it's 45 minutes 45 minutes working time it's amazing effects professional gray cures rock solid gorgeous mirror shine and excellent excellent air release i'm reading what the bottle says but you know like i said so far i've been using it i use it in three cups already and it's not expensive either. It's similar to what I pay for uh, Pro Marine. So if you want to give it a try, I highly recommend this uh, this uh, this epoxy. Um, you could use it for tumblers. You could use it for molds. You could use it for whatever. Um, so, do you guys have any questions about the epoxy? Once again, this is how it looks. And it's called Naked Fusion. You know my English sucks, so. Here it is, it's part A, part B, and it mixes the same way that we mix uh, um, Pro Marine. Look at all the alcohol in the background. And I'm drinking water. Psh, unbelievable. Okay, so what I'm going to make today is a mar marble cup. 
Uh, uh, like, I, like I always say, I make it my way. I'm not saying it's the right way. For me, it's easy to make it this way. Um, I'm gonna make it within like the pink colors because it's gonna be a cancer awareness um, cup. So instead of using um, a regular white, I thought I should use the UV white to pink glitter. So, you know, I put it on, it's white. And when she goes on the sun, it's really, really pretty. When she gets on the sun, it turns pink. So we're gonna start with that one. Like I always do, I always prep my cups. So don't forget that step. I read a lot of people saying, oh, I don't sign my cups. I never have a problem, blah, blah, blah. But then I seen a lot of people that, you know, they crack easily because you know, it doesn't have anything to adhere. So it only takes you two minutes, two extra minutes to sand the cup a little bit because you don't have to go crazy sanding your cups. But I hardly, hardly recommend to sand your cup a little bit to, you know, uh, wash it off, then you paint it, and then you're ready to work on it. It's only t two minutes extra, guys. You don't have to cut the two minutes off and then, you know, regret it later on. Um, so far I've been making cup for two years. I have never, no, more than two years, like probably two years and a half or something. Um, and never had a problem with somebody bringing me, uh, bringing me a cup because it's cracked or the epoxy layers are too thin. Hey Marixa. So I ha highly, highly recommend you to use, you know, to sign your cups. Two minutes extra. That's all it takes. So like I said, I'm gonna use the UB uh, glitter, uh, white to pink, from my company, Glitter by Sparkling Angels. I'm going to use a little bit of Butterfly Kisses. I'm gonna use Pink Panther. I'm going to use White Dye. I don't have black alcohol ink, so I'm gonna go with a little bit of the black acrylic paint and a little bit of this color mica. It's like a rose gold. I don't know, it's really pretty and I don't have it. I don't carry this color with, in my micas. So I'm going to use this one. Oh, and it is a little bit. So I do have um, a pink one, but it's like too bright and I don't want it to take over my cup. It probably would look nice because it's kind of in the range of like the cancer um, theme, cancer, cancer awareness. So, so I'm gonna bring you guys down. I'm gonna start by epoxying my cup. Um, so it turns while I'm prepping the rest of the, the stuff. Okay, I'm gonna try to look at the at the messages in my computer, but sometimes I get, can you guys see the cup there good? I'm gonna put on my gloves. God, this, my hands are so big, because this glove sets all size fits all. All size fits all my ass, because I'm struggling to put on a glove. All right, good. Because you know me and computer don't get along. So I'm gonna make this a little different. Um, I mean, this is the way I do it. Wait a minute until I finish fighting with my gloves, okay? <laughs> my God, one side fits all? What the hell? One size don't fit my hands, I'll tell you that. Sorry. Um, I'm making a marble cup, I guess. It's for a cancer awareness cup. 
like I always say, I'm not saying this is the right way, but this is the way I do it. If I ever get to put this stupid glove on, oh my God. If I had to take this glove off, I'm going to die. Because I can't take them off. Hey Crystal, making a marble cup. So let me start by mixing part A and part B. We're gonna need we're gonna need, you know, a good amount of epoxy. So I'm gonna use two part A. Actually, I don't know if I have enough space here to put the two of them. Hey, Linda. I might not have enough space. So we're gonna mix whatever we're gonna use just to put on a cup and then we're gonna have to mix a little more because I should have gotten a bigger cup to mix more. Like I said, if you wanna give a try to this epoxy, I don't think you are ever gonna regret it because I absolutely love it. It doesn't have any smell to it. So, I'm just going to have it ready here for when I have to mix it because we are going to need to divide these in all of the different colors that we're going to use. Hey, Daddy, Maritza. Maritza, um, this is a new epoxy that I tried. Uh, I always use Promarine, but you know, I'm suffering badly from migraines. So I thought I should give it a try, and I really, really like it. It doesn't, have, I don't smell anything. I don't know if because my nose is done already. Um, but um, it's called, I forgot the name, Naked Fusion. I will post the link after the tutorial if you guys are interested. I don't, I don't get any money from recommending it. I'm just loving it. So if you want to try something new, I'm affiliated with Promarine, but you know, I'm not that kind of person. If this one is a better epoxy, Promarine is gorgeous. I love it. I love Promarine. Yes, it's, let me tell you, I, you know, I live in Florida, Tommy, and um, it's had a cell over here. It's UV resistant, zero VOC, is a self-leveling epoxy, and like I said, I don't know, I, I've been, I used this in three cups already, and I'm happy with it. So, I recommend you guys to give it a try. But Marixa, don't worry, Promarine is not about epoxy. I've been using Promarine for two years and a half already. And I never had a problem. My end result is beautiful. So, but this one, I don't smell anything, honestly. I usually work in my garage. But I'm working inside the house now and I don't smell it. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't, you know, use your, wear your protection. So don't get me wrong. Um, wear your mask, wear your gloves. I am freaking melting in my house. I don't know why. I hardly get any bubbles. Um, you know, I just mix it, let it sit for like five minutes, whatever bubbles that comes up. 
I knew I was forgetting something. I'm gonna have to call my son again and he's gonna hate my guts again. Yeah, Marco! He hates my guts. So, I don't know if you could see it, but I'm mixing and I'm hardly, hardly getting any bubbles in this epoxy. You are gonna get bubbles no matter what, but I'm saying it's not crazy. Yeah, Marco! Can you bring me the torch, please? I'm not gonna mix this one yet because that's for the rest of the things that we need to make. But it's beautiful, it's, it's so clear. Like, like I said, it has bubbles, but minimal. And, um, and like I said, you pop them with the, um, you pop them with the torch if my son ever brings me the torch. But for these, we don't really have to worry about, for this part, about bubbles. Because what I'm going to do, I'm gonna turn on my timer. I only like it to go that way. And then I'm going to add the UB white to pink. Oh gosh, everybody sending me messages now. Uh, Michelle, you could check if you could get it in Canada. That I didn't check. So I'm going to use, um, like I said, I'm going to use the white to pink. You want to be kind of heavy with this glitter because this is going to be your base coat. So you want it to be able to cover, put it there, baby. Thank you. You want to be able to cover the entire, uh, hey Ricky, you want to be able to cover the entire cup with your glitter, because I want it to show. Yeah, check if they sell it in Canada or they deliver it to Canada. You want to drink or something before the next one? Yeah, no, I have already water, puppy. This should be good. This should be good. I could add a little more, but with all the glitters we're gonna add, it should be good. Okay, so we are going to apply this glitter as a base coat. I could probably add more glitter. I would add it on the other one because I have to mix more glitter. Yeah, I would have more glitter. I gotta mix more. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to change gloves. And this gloves... This is gonna be crazy. I should have mixed it on the other one, but I didn't wanna have extra. <laughs> Okay, so, sorry guys, I'm talking to myself here too. This glitter is a uh, UV white to pink. Uh, the reason I'm using this one instead of a plain white is because this cup is going to be for cancer awareness cup. And I want her to, when she sees it's going to be white, you know, it's kind of pinkish, but when you go outside, it gets pink. Hey, Tracy, I'm just doing a marble cup. If you could call that, I always end up adding too much colors to it. But I'm guessing as long as I'm happy with what I'm making, I could have whatever the hell I want. <laughs> so we just want to cover our cup. See, this one has more coverage. Don't be stingy with your glitter because you don't really want to see the white in the, in the bottom. I mean, it's not that it matters. It matters to me. So if it doesn't matter to you, 
but you don't want it too thin because I am going to apply the rest of my stuff on my glitters and micas in top of these. I'm not gonna wait until this is skewered or none of that. So, this is like a one step cut. In my opinion, when I do it this way, I feel like it's easier to get that, uh, the black, not to get those harsh black lines in the marble. Cause I don't, I don't like when I make, I'm making a cup and I get, um, that like too dark of a black in a marble cup. If you know my meaning, I don't know if I'm explaining it right. But what I'm trying to say is I don't like it to be dark. So when you do it this way, the, when you apply the black, it kind of mix, mixes it with this color and you can't really, you don't get the harsh color. Plus we're gonna have, we're gonna mix the white too, so. Yeah, I love that UV glitters. Anyway, I love every glitter because I love glitter. Okay, so we're gonna let it, um, I'm gonna struggle putting another pair of gloves. But we're gonna let this, I'm gonna use a torch, pop any bubbles, and then we're gonna let it turn. while we're mixing the rest. So, I'm going to clean this epoxy stick. I was trying not to get epoxy on my hands with other gloves. Okay, so we're gonna put this on the side. We're gonna mix this glitter. My husband is choking up back there. Okay, so this is the other one that I prep. And we're gonna have different cups with the different colors that we're gonna use. So this cup is gonna be, so I already made one, but it's a, it's a gift. And she's in our group. And she didn't come pick it up. I'll probably show it to you at the end of the tutorial anyway. Because I was going to surprise her with it. <laughs> but it's, I don't know if he's okay. He's in the bedroom and he's like choking over there. And here I am talking about glitter. <laughs> Once again, I'm hardly getting any bubbles. And it doesn't smell, guys. Michelle, he's only on your life and Enrique's life. He's not in my life. He signs in, he say hola, and that's it. Like, he doesn't stay. No love, no love. So I was invited to do a vendor event. And I'm such a chicken, I don't know if I want to do it. How many of you have done that bender, those bender events? I'm scared. Okay, I'm just mixing, make sure they all mix. And I hope I mix A and B. 
Because he's not getting clear. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, yeah, it's getting better. I'm like, oh my God. I'm scared. Awesome, Michelle. Look at these guys. Look how clear this is. Like, hardly any bubbles. I'm like, like I said, I'm not getting any money for, you know, recommending these. I'm just, I want my angels to be able to find something that they like, and I like it. So, that's why I'm saying you should check it out. Yeah, I'm afraid that I go and I don't sell any cups and I'm be like disappointed. I don't know. I'm gonna call my son again. Yeah, come here. I love you. I need the other gloves. My big hands don't fit on this one. Okay, so we are going to use, let me see how many I need. One, two, three, four, five. We need five. We need to divide these epoxy in five cups. It's called Naked Fusion, uh, Ricky. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit for the black. I'm not gonna use a lot for the black. Then I'm using the leftover from this one here. Then I'm going to use a little more for the white. And the reason why I'm going to use more is because the, the, the white is going to act. No, naked, naked, like no clothes, like naked. <laughs> you know, my English sucks, damn. Okay, so I'm gonna, um, what I was saying, ooh, I put too much. Yeah, can I have the other gloves? Because those gloves are too small for my hand. So I'm gonna use the, a lot for, more for the, um, <laughs> I'm gonna add a link later. Um, I put too much, but we're gonna make more of the white because the white is gonna act like an eraser. Meaning, like, let's say you put too much black and you don't like it, we're gonna put a little bit for the other pink mica, or whatever color that is. So if you put a lot of black, like in my case, I don't like it when it's too, too dark, then you're gonna be using the white to kind of like fix it. So I call it the eraser. Yes. No, no, the ones in the thing, the, uh, the clear, the white, the clear or whatever. Okay, so let's start with the black, which we're going to have just a little bit. I'm going to the beach tomorrow. But at night, because I don't like the heat, like, I'm running out of this acrylic paint. I just need a little bit. Come on, you are. Just need a little bit. A little bit. Okay. Uh, very little, guys. You don't need a lot. Just a little bit. And then we're going to mix the black. This is actually a lot. So, we don't need a lot of black. Am I missing anything? Okay. So, I'm mixing the black. Then, we're going to do the white. This, I have to be careful because I spilled this all over my garage. Like. No idea what. They in the shelf, Bobby. In the I shelf mean, that I have everything. I just saw. I saw. It's one, a little box. I saw. Oh, what? 
Yeah, it's a little box. This thing, for some reason, I can't get the... the hey, Jody. Play, the show play your table? The, where I have all my cups, Bobby. Okay. So, the little tip doesn't work for some freaking reason. And I went to, like, squeeze it, and that shit went everywhere. It was a new bottle, and I spilled... I, I only have, like, a little bit left, because I peel, I, I um... I spilled everything. I'm a messy crafter, guys. Like, ew. <laughs> no, we're just going for a little bit, sit and relax, listen to the wave. Yes, I need more though. You brought me one? Two, one for each hand. I might need more, puppy. How many more? There's a couple. Give me four more because I'm a very messy and I can't work with those gloves. They're too small for me. Okay, so we have the black, we have the white, then we're gonna add the mica. Yes, I need I need some time for myself, I guess, you know, like I've been so stressed out with my mom and my sister. So my husband said, How about we go to the beach this weekend? And I said, Okay. Yeah, we just wanna sit, relax. The sun is not gonna be out. It's too hot in Florida. So every time I listen to the wave and I smell the fresh air from the, like the sea water, it feels so nice. I think I need that now. All right, so we got the mica. I'm taking a little long guys, but don't mind me. We're going to add Pink Panther. Okay, so the way I, Add the glitter here. I put a lot of glitter because I don't want it runny. Because I don't want, I actually don't want it to move. So I want it kind of thick. So like, if I leave it like this, it's too runny. So it's going to move and I don't want it to move. I want to put a glob there and just stay there. So I'm gonna add a little more. This glitter is beautiful. I will, Jody. I'm actually I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so you see, by the time you use this, it's gonna be thicker. But if not, just add a little more because you don't really want it running. I don't want it running. I want to be able to put it on and for it to stay. Isn't it pretty? It's so pretty. You know what? Have you who used this glitter in black? I never used this in a black uh, base. I wonder how it looks. Okay, so I think this is enough for this one. And then last but not least, I'm gonna use Butterfly Kisses. This glitter is gorgeous, gorgeous. So I'm putting this to give it like a contrast. Oop, I spilled some. So it's not all pink. Oh, I already made it. You, that I, I'll show you once it's, uh, once the tutorial is done. I didn't post it in the group because it's, it was a surprise, but, and she's in this group. But 
I'm donating her so she could um, get some funds for her mom treatment. And I think it came out just beautiful. At least the one I made. I don't know about this one, okay? So if it doesn't come out pretty, then judge, don't judge me. <laughs> okay, now I have the right gloves. Okay, I'm gonna stand up, so don't look at my fat ass. <laughs> And then, let me fix this glove. I hope you guys can see. Okay, so I'm gonna go this way. I know it looks really dark, but don't worry. It won. It won't look. And then we're gonna put lines here and there and everywhere. See, when you do it with the glitter, Remember, we're going to use the white to kind of erase it. But when you do it with a glitter, um, with a base, it kind of like mix in with the white. And I think it turns like more marbly easier. So you don't have to do lines if you don't want to. You see what I'm doing here? I'm using this one because it's too dark and I'm putting it everywhere on the cup. Now, don't go crazy with the black, but don't worry about it because remember, we're going to be adding all the glitters. So, you won't be able to see a lot of this black, but I want to make it look like marbly, like See, and don't go too deep because then you'll remove the glitter in the bottom. Just, you know, like slide your finger. Just the tip of the glove, you don't want a lot. And this one here is too dark for my taste, so I'm gonna use the white. It looks ugly now, guys, but it won't. It won't be looking ugly later. See, when you put it, the glitter in the bottom, it kind of give you that like, um, I don't know how to explain it, like that uh, gray looking instead of black. If you get my meaning. And then we're gonna be. Like I said, don't go crazy with the black, but if you do go crazy with the black, because I never know where when to stop when I'm adding glitter. Don't worry because we have the white, which is gonna be the one that is gonna erase whatever mistake we make with any color. So I wanna bring it down a little bit. If you lift your glitter uh, a little bit too from the base coat, do not worry. Remember, we're gonna be adding more stuff. And, you know, it's not gonna really show. Okay, I think I'm good with the black there. I'm gonna make it a little darker here. Cause I do like to see some dark spot. No, I messed it up there. Come on, I didn't want you there. See, when you put it with the glitter, I think it makes it like marbly right away. Okay, so we are done with this one. I wanna stop adding black. Then we're gonna add some white, not a lot. But remember I told you I'm gonna kinda, I don't like these too dark. So that's what we're gonna use the white and make, her, make it lighter. So give it that. 
Remember, don't go too deep because then you're going to remove the glitter from your base coat and you don't want to do that. See already, it already looks like marbly, I think. What do you guys think? See, it doesn't have those harsh black. Don't forget the booty. I'm gonna. And then if you think you put too much white, you could always get a little bit of the black and go over it. Depends what you like. I don't like a lot of black. So I try to remove as much as I can. And with my dirty finger from this one, for example, I go and I put a little bit here. Like when you have a big glob of black, go add it somewhere else. So, see, it's up to you. I don't like the pronounced black on the cup. So I make mine more, I would say, um, how do you call that? I hate that sometimes my freaking English just don't go, don't work. So I made more like a silver, like gray color. Cause I don't like the dark. Like for me, this is too dark, but I'm just gonna leave it. I'm actually gonna add a little bit of black because it's too much white right there. So just go get your fingers wet a little bit, not too much. See, I put too much white here. I'm gonna add a little bit black. If I think I added too much white, you know, somewhere else, let me see, like here, I like to see a little black there. So you could go back and forth, whichever, whatever you like. This one is nice because it's kind of, it looks like a bane there. Woo! I better stop because if I keep adding, I'll be like, Boo. Okay, so I'm going to stop with this. Because I don't know if you have the same problem I do, but I start and I can't stop. Okay, now I'm going to go with butterfly kisses. Like I said, you want it, you want it thick. You don't want it, um, I don't know what my son did with my, oh, I thought he left it here. Anyway, so I'm going to put a little bit here. And like I said, you want a glop. You don't want it. I, I don't want mine to run. If you want yours to run a little, go ahead. But I want mine to stay where I put it. It's gonna. It's always going to run a little bit. But mainly, I want it to stay right here. I want it to stay where I put it. Like I said, it's gonna move no matter what. Like this is too much, it might move a little. But you see this one, is staying where I left it, where I put it. Cause you don't put a, a big glob. Glob, glob. But you don't put it too thin either. I know, I can't stop, I just, that happened to, let me, I'm going to show you. Wait till I show you the one I, I made. Like, I think I went overboard. Don't put it too thick, though, because it would move. I had silicone brush somewhere, but I don't know. My son put stuff away for me today because I asked him to. 
Not because he wanted her to do it. I'm not going crazy with this color yet. See this one move a little bit. But remember, we still have that white that we could clean up. But I never clean up glitter, so let me put some on the booty. So I don't want to go crazy with this color, but I already put here, here. I kind of look where I want to put some. Like I say, try, if you put a big lock, try to move it. Because this one is not moving. This one is not moving. It's, it's always going to move a little bit. So you don't have to worry about that. But you just don't want it to move a lot. You want it to stay in the same spot you place it. Because that's the point of having control of your work. Okay, I think this is good. Because now we're going to do the pink. I love this color too. It's so pretty. So delicate. I think it's so nice for like a unicorn cup. I'm going to make a unicorn. If I decide to do the fair, I'm going to make a unicorn form, a unicorn cup. Yeah, I always do the booty. I have no booty. So I always remember to add to these cups. Okay, so now I'm going to add some of the pink. This pink is just gorgeous, guys. Gorgeous. This, I don't want you there. And you see the pink is not thick enough. So I'm gonna add a little bit of the pink next to the color I just added. And make sure it's not thick so it doesn't move. See, I, I added butterfly kisses to give it like a contrast because I don't want, I don't like to make one cup or one color. But I do, go, I'm, I am going to add more of the pink than I did. That I did the, uh, okay. That one needs a little fix in there, but that's why the white is coming. And follow the one you put before. I'm going to have more here because I want this to be a bigger blob. Isn't it pretty? Wait till you see the one I, I finished. Oh my God. I thought I went overboard though, but I think it just, it just came out gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna add the pink on this side. And this pink is a little more, it's not as thick as the other one, so it might move a little more, but because of the theme, I don't care. But I try not to I tried to make it more. So I'm gonna add more of the pink. Like I said, this is the main color. It's gonna move guys, so don't worry about it. You just don't want it all over the cup. Let 
Remember, if you want to stop, stop, because we're going to be adding the mica. And we could always come back and add more. I'm thinking I'm going to add more butterfly kisses because it looks so beautiful. Okay, more for the booty. This pink panther is gorgeous. Hey, Cindy. Uh, Tracy, you make beautiful, beautiful cups. What are you talking about? I'm not good at making marble either, but I try. Like this will move a little too much for my taste, but I don't care. Okay, let me see if I should add a little more or just wait. See, this will move a little bit. Don't put it, don't put it too thick. Because it would definitely move. Because mine just did. But since the cup is going to be mainly pink. But you see the veins here, how pretty. And they don't look that bold black. Um, I don't know if you have this one. Uh, um. This one is Pink Panther. And this one is Butterfly Kisses. Which I don't know if you have it. And then I use the white to um, paint you big glitter. So when she takes the, the cup in the sun, it's going to turn a little light pink. You see the line? You see how nice it is? It's like not that bold. I don't like when the lines are too black. It drives me insane. Insane. But you see, it's moving a little bit. You do want it to move a little bit. You just don't want it to go around the cup. And I know. And turquoise? Imagine in turquoise. I love turquoise. Okay, so we're going to leave it alone for now. I should have brought my memory tail uh, mold because I'm going to have leftover epoxy. But um, we are going to go with the mica. And we're just going to make a line. Honestly, I don't even think it needs the mica. It's so pretty already. Look at me saying my cup is pretty. I try not to put, put too much where the glitter is because I'm going to kind of smoosh a little bit. And I don't really want to touch the glitter much, but I already did, so. I'm going to put some. If you see, I got, you know, I'm still adding every color in the bottom. I'm going to add some over here. So my bottom, and then you, you do the same thing you did, you did with the white. So I'm saying don't try not to put it inside in top of the glitter. Like this one has too much. Try not to put it in top of the glitter much. That way you don't have to really touch it or move the glitter around. Gonna smush it a, a little bit. Okay, so the same thing. If you think you put too much, remember we still have the white. 
And the Y is our eraser. It's going to fix a lot of our mistakes. Not mistakes, but if you have a spot that you don't like, you know. Like here is too much. Like I don't like too much here. I like it light. I like it like this, light here. I'm going to add a little bit of white there. So we go back with the white. And be careful because I put too much. You know, instead of... Hmm, I think I'm going to do it with my fingers. Again, instead of, you know, adding some with the thing, with the stick. Just don't put too much because you don't want to like take away all that color that you put in. You just want to kind of like turn it down. We're just turning it down. Can't put too much white. Turning it down. And then if you turn it down too much, go back and do and put more. It's, you know, this is just like you play. The only mica I'm using is this rose gold. The rest is glitter and uh, epoxy dye. So over here, I'm gonna add a little bit of this mica because I made it too white for my taste. Where is it? What is it? What is it? Right here. I'm gonna add more mica there. I still wanna leave some of the rose because it's pretty. See, once you mix them, oh my God, they're gorgeous, gorgeous. Put some in the bottom. And the thing with this cup, because you don't want things moving a lot, remember, we're not using any heat. The only thing we're doing here is popping bubbles, and that's it. Now this is the time you look around and see what else you think is missing. Mine I think is perfect. I'm not doing nothing else. The rest of my mica and my glitters, I'm going to use, I'm gonna put some color here because it's too. I like to put some color in the bottom, like, I have a little bit left of these. I kind of wipe it with my, <laughs> I have so many colors, oh, don't spill, don't spill, because I'm going to use it for a mermaid tail. And another good thing about making this cup Guys, the bottom, because you're putting all the glitters on micas and everything, when you finish your first coat, your bottom is not as rough as when you put in only glitter. I mean, I think, it's, I think it doesn't need nothing else. You see how the glitter moved? That's what I want. It moved a little bit. I just didn't want it to go all around the cup. So it's... You want it to have, you see, it did a little shape here. You know, you, you just want to have a little more control 
that if you put it um, too thin, then it's going to be all over. So, there you go. There you have it. It's finished. All we got to do now is wait. And um, after four, this is what I do. After four to five hours, I do another coat of glitter. Oh, I'm sorry. Another coat of a boxy. And I let it sit there all night long. Um, when I say flow coat, for me, I know a lot of people think for uh, flow coat. Uh, coat is putting a ton of epoxy is not okay a flow coat and I always say it is a normal regular coat of epoxy after four to five hours you don't have to put 50 ml on the cup to make it because that's when you get a heavy cup they never level and they're gonna be all wavy so you don't want that so a flow coat, which I always have trouble saying that word, is only a regular coat of epoxy between four to five hours from the first coat. Another thing I wanna share with you, I don't know if you guys know, but like I said, I'm very, very messy. And I always happen to have epoxy on my hand no matter what and they're always sticky. I found these. It's Goo Gone Hand Cleaner. You put it on. I mean, you have to watch it with water after that. After that. But then, you, you clean your hands. You use paper towel. Since I work in my garage, I clean it with paper towel. Then I wash it in the sink. And my hands are never sticky. So, I hope you guys like the tutorial. Um, I'm gonna show you the finished cup now. If you give me a minute, I'm gonna dry my hand. But this thing, the Goo Gum and Cleaner is the best. The best, best, best. Cause it, it doesn't matter what I do, I always get epoxy in my hands. So give me a minute, I'm gonna bring you I'm gonna wash my hands really quick and I'm gonna bring you the cup already done. Here it is. This is the cup. I made the mermaid tail with the leftover epoxy. I made the tail. It just, it, in person, this cup is beautiful, guys. Like, you know, one thing if you see it on a video, another thing is to see it in person. It's absolutely gorgeous. And on my last coat of epoxy, if you see it on the decal, I added iridescent glitter to my epoxy. And uh, that's it. I hope you guys like my way. <laughs> like I said, I do things my way. Um, whatever is easier for me. I think this way I get the, the marble looking without the harsh black lines. And um, I'm happy with the results. Any question? Lena, should I do that vendor event? I'm I'm a I'm a chicken chicken chip. Thank you.
thank you. My God, I got epoxy on this mic. I can't even close it. Thank you, Michelle. All right, guys. If you guys don't have any question, I'm scared. I tried. I'm gonna. I'm gonna start making cups. I guess uh, all the cups I do in the tutorial, I'm gonna save it. Thank you, Tammy. That you guys love me, so I know you're always gonna say my my work is beautiful. <laughs> I will. I'll try. I tried. I don't know why I'm so I'm shy. Believe it or not, can you believe that? Me? I'm shy. I'm shy. I don't like selling like to people. But anyway. All right, so we're done with the cup. I'm going to use my leftover epoxy to make a mermaid tail to go with this cup. And I'm done. Thank you, Tracy. Okay, angels, if you have no questions for me, I'm going to let you guys go. And I'm gonna pick up all my mess here and I'm gonna enjoy my show. But if you do have a question later on, you know you could always send me a PM and I'm here for you. Thank you very much, have a good night. Thank you always for being uh, by my side and always supporting me. There's a sale coming, um, coming soon and Glitter by a Sparkling Angel is gonna be it's birthday in April. April is Glitter by a Sparkling Angel's birthday. And it's my birthday. But a Sparkling Angel's birthday comes first. So, oh yeah, I'm taking the Mari. She, she could sell the tent if she has to. So, <laughs> I'm going to take the Mari. <laughs> All right, angels. Thank you. Have a good night. Enjoy your weekend. See you soon. If you need me, you know where to find me. Bye.